So uh, Professor Liu is going to show you how to do number three. Create a Java program, prompt the user to enter two numbers. But these two numbers will be uh, will be entered through an input box. So it's a, it's a window app, window app application you enter from the input box. Okay? So once you enter from the input box here, now, so from now on, I need you to learn. You need to uh, create your variable, uh, same variable you are dealing with, but two different types. For example, for example here, you want to have two numbers, so you say num, double num1, num2, that's fine. But the num1 is going to enter from a, from a input box. A input box only returns string. So you need to say string, then make this as str num1. So you understand this is a string, cannot do plus minus. And I have num2 right here. All right, so num2 is also is going to from the input box, also from the input box. So I have a, a num2 here, but I have a string num2. So from now on, the variable you're going to retrieve from the input box, you need to, you need to have a um, variable definition two type. First is the data type for that, then must have a string data type to be able to retrieve the value. So I string num1 to retrieve a value, and I do double dar parse double, because num1 is a double. So I need to use double the parse double, and I put a string here to be able to convert this uh, string become a, a double variable. Second thing, second one is num2, right? So same thing, I must have a variable, say string number two. Then your prompt is right here, enter a second number. Now, once you finish that, once you finish that, because your num2 is a double, so you need to say double the parse double and pull the string. String num2 will convert to a double by this statement. After that, I can do addition num1 plus num2. You are not, when you do a string num plus string 2, you just concave them. You just concave them. So sum equal plus, then we just do a lazy output. Num1 plus num2 equals sum. All right. So let's see how do we do this one. So I'm um, file close this. All right. Then hopefully I have a oh, hallelujah. All right, so to do this one, I'll do file, new, Java application. Then I am going to do this is uh, chapter 4, uh, class work uh, 3. Is that right? And finish. And I say, no, no create. And then right here, I am uh, going to... Uh, new uh, class, it's okay, and I'm going to say uh, chapter 4, okay, chapter 4, class work 3, and I'm going to put the, oh, geez, sorry, sorry, chapter 4, class work 3, and class work 3, I'm going to say input box uh, numbers. It's okay, so I make sure I remember that. So now we're going to prompt the user enter two name, right? And we want to have a larger domain double because that would take a um, decimal number and non-decimal number. Num one, 
and num2. And then we also need to have sum, right? So we got that right now. So I have first has to have a variable declaration. I need to have num1, num2, and sum. But I want to use the input box, right? I want to use input box then. So I need to do this right now, OK? So this is what I'm going to do. I am going to do a uh, um, string. OK, oh, hold on. All right, str num1, OK? And str num2. Remember, I'm dealing with the number 1 and number 2, but I need to do this. So what happened is this. I am going to do this, OK? So str number 1, and I'm going to do j option uh, pen the show input dialog box right here and here I'm going to tell them that enter the first number alright so they enter the first number so because uh, J option pen show input dialog only return return a string alright so now I have to convert right so I'm just going to say num1 and actually equal to because it's, it's a double, I need to use a double class. It's uppercase. Class is uppercase. Double. Yeah. All right. And parse double right here. And I'm going to parse the str number one. It's OK. Now, I do the exactly the same thing. Is OK. I do the exactly the same thing. I say string. Uh, number two, number two is okay, and equal J option pane here, and enter the second number. All right, and then my second number and is going to uh my second number is going to pass from my second string. All right, then after that. I can say my sum equal to uh, num1 plus num2 now. I can do ar arithmetic, OK? Then I do system uh, out, OK? Y you can do uh, in, in message box, but we're just lazy. It's OK. So we're just going to say num1, all right, and uh, con string concatenation plus and the string concatenation plus uh, num2 and plus string concatenation equal and string concatenation uh, sum. Okay, this is a lazy way. You can do better way. So one more time to deal with this. And this is um, probably most popular way we use Java or JavaScript because we will deal with users uh, input from the from any of the form sometimes it's input box sometimes it's a form most likely it's a form internet has so many forms but once we retrieve it we need to train the space this and that and save in our storage and put in our java uh, sql server and mysql uh, we use mysql uh, heavily OK, so let's do it right now. And I run as a Java application. So on the internet here, I got an input box. You saw that very so shin. Oh, no, 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 first number. Let me put 12.5, OK? Um, second number, let me put uh, uh, 16. I just put anything. It's OK. So. My answer will be 12.5 plus 6.0 equal 28.5. All right. So one more time, in order in order to have a uh, part of your program goes to the internet because this is very popular as a Java programmer or Java script programmer. We deal with the interaction from user from the user that they don't keep. 
they probably don't do from the keyboard. Uh, they they still do a keyboard, but they probably don't do the console anymore. So we have an input bar, so we have form to do that. In order to do that, make sure anything from the internet is string. So you must have variable is string. Convert that to data type because only to the proper data type we can do arithmetic. All right. So this is your uh, number three. All right. I I hope.